super kids and welcome to super saturday i am super excited that you are with us again today well i'm sure most of you have gone back to school and if you haven't you're on your way in a couple of days the last time we saw each other, I was telling you about the importance of staying focused. Remember, I talked about not being distracted. This week, before we get started with our amazing Bible story and hear a joke from Make You Laugh, Marcus, I want to share five affirmations with you. What is an affirmation? It's really simple. An affirmation is just something that you say out loud that will help you have a great and successful school year. And it'll also kind of help you stay focused. So before you go to school in the morning, I want you to say these five affirmations that are found in the Bible. The affirmations are gonna tell you who you are and what you can do with the help of God. I want you to see other super kids just like you who are saying these affirmations. Listen, and I'll be back. I will praise thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works and that my soul knoweth right well. I am a masterpiece. them to do unto you. Matthew 7 and 12. I am helpful. I am kind. Today's Bible story is taken from Luke, the second chapter, the 41st through the 52nd verses. In this portion of scripture, we read about a time when Jesus was just a little boy. Yes, Jesus was a little child, just like you. Now, when he was little, Joseph and Mary, his parents, lived in Nazareth. Every year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the Passover feast. And when Jesus was 12 years old, just like some of you, they went to a feast as they always did. When the feast days were over, they went home. But guess what? The boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but his parents didn't know it. Joseph and Mary traveled for a whole day without realizing that Jesus wasn't with them. They thought Jesus was with someone else in the group. Then they began to look for him, but they couldn't find him. So what do you think they did? Of course, they went back to Jerusalem to look for him there. After three whole days, they found Jesus. And guess what he was doing? Jesus was sitting in the temple with the religious leaders and he was listening to them and he was asking them questions. And all who heard Jesus talking were amazed at his understanding and his wise answers. When Jesus' parents saw him, they were amazed. 
And Mary, his mother, said, son, why did you do this to us? Your father and I have been worried about you. We've been looking for you for three days. And Jesus asked, why did you have to look for me? You should have known that I must be where my father's work is. But you know what? They didn't understand what Jesus was saying to them. So Jesus went with them back to Nazareth and he obeyed them. Jesus obeyed his parents. His mother though, kept thinking about what had happened and what Jesus had said to her. Jesus continued to learn more and more and grew up physically. People liked him and he pleased God. So even though Jesus was a young boy, he was God. He was Jesus, God's son. And yet he obeyed his parents. So how important do you think it is for you to obey your parents? Pretty important, right? As a matter of fact, the Bible says, children, obey your parents in the Lord. That's the right thing to do. Honor your father and your mother. And if you do that, your days will be long upon the earth. There's a promise and there's a blessing when you obey your mom and dad when you obey the people who have authority over you. It's important for you to obey your teachers when you go back to school. That's what God wants us to do. He wants us to obey. And Jesus was a great example. Even though he was God, he was a child who had parents and he chose to obey them. So as super kids, remember that God gives you his superpower to obey. St. John chapter 9 verse 4 says, I must work the works of him that sent me while he is dead. The night coming when no man can work. Yeah. Who he work for while he is dead? Jesus Christ. All right.